Okay, so in this video we will talk about the Kobo Clara 2e. And this is the normal Kobo Clara 2e and not the black and white or the color. And by the way, I have said it before, I said it again, don't buy a color version of this if you only read black and white books. That will make the user experience a lot worse because the display is a lot darker and also you need to compensate all the time with the front light to be around 80% when inside reading at home and that may, means that the battery life gets worse than on the Kobo Clara 2e and also the new Kobo Clara black and white. So now I've said that once again but in this, in this video we should talk about the Kobo Clara 2e and the pop socket that I will mount on this and the reason for mounting the pop socket on this is that I have stopped using this uh, sleep cover. This sleep cover is amazing actually. It's all I have ever wanted from a sleep cover. You can use it as a stand and so on and really nice to hold in the hand when the stand is like this. So it's very very good sleep cover but it makes the Kobo Clara 2e a lot heavier, and I mean a lot heavier. So without it, the Kobo Clara 2e is, of course, not as heavy, very, very light in the hand. It's so light, actually, uh, almost the same weight as the Onyx Books Palma. Uh, so the, the weight of the Kobo Clara 2e is amazing, quite frankly. So I will start using this naked instead if off with this sleep cover. So I will use this as is and that means that the back side of it is a very slippery. It's very easy to drop it when you hold it in your hand and so on. And also when uh, switching to the left hand I have problems holding it when laying in bed reading for example then I have some problems holding it in the hand like this and turn the pages. So I will try to mount a pop socket on this surface. It could be hard to get it to stick on the surface, maybe, but I will try because I have used the Onyx Books Palma with a pop socket and that also has a, a textured backside surface on the back and that worked great having a pop socket on when reading and I really love having a pop socket on this because it feels so light in the hand you almost not feeling the uh, ear reader when having it in this way with a pop socket so it's very easy to hold it with both left and right hand using a pop socket so I have this when I'm always out and about and for example at work and so on I have with this Unix Books Palma with me and uh, Clara 2e is with me at home mostly and also sometimes outside in my bag and so but often I have the Unix Books Palma with me and the Unix Books Palma has replaced my iPhone mostly with this and my Apple Watch Ultra I don't need a smartphone anymore and by that I mean this doesn't have a 3G, 4G or 5G connection so you need to use Wi-Fi but when I don't have Wi-Fi for this I can use my Apple Watch Ultra for all the communication I want. I use it for SMS, email and even phone calls so I don't need uh, a smartphone anymore because this has a SIM card built in so I use that for all the communication when I'm not on Wi-Fi. And I use this instead of my iPhone when on Wi-Fi. So uh, this is a nice combination for me. And I will use that when I'm not using the Kobo Clara 2e. So now we will make this better. The Kobo Clara 2e, very light and so really nice to hold in your hand, will be even better with a pop socket. So now we will try to mount it. On the back side of your Kobo Clara 2e and it should be quite easy uh, first just open this package uh, I bought this basic pop socket on Amazon uh, C 
69 Swedish crowns, so it was very cheap. Uh, let's see if I can remove all this before mounting it, like so. Uh, now the problem comes where I want this to be mounted. On, on the Onyx Books Palm I have it in the middle of the back side, but on the Cobra Clara 3 I don't think I should have it mounted on the middle of it. I think it should be more uh, on the lower end actually, because you want to hold it like this on the back side, if you know what I mean. So I think it should be about this to be able to use it in left and right hand, hopefully. I think that would be the best placement of it. So we will try that now. So then you should have a clear surface. I don't have it so clear, but I, I don't care so much uh, for mounting this, but uh, you should have it very clear, not as much dust and so on. Now I will remove this. And now we should try to find the right place again, maybe like this, I think. Could that be the right placement? We try that. So now I just press and press and press so it will stick to the surface. I won't press so hard so the Cobo Clara 2E get broken though, but um, quite much strength to mount this. Let's see. Hopefully that will do. Hopefully. Now it feels a bit not in the center like that, maybe, but uh, I won't <laughs> remove it and replace it because then the uh, the stickiness is not is not as good anymore. So we will try now if it works. A bit worried first time, like so. Like so, and it feels quite good. Maybe it should have been a bit higher up because of the heaviness at the top, so I don't drop it like that. But uh, I think it could be a great placement anyway. It feels like that. Maybe this was the perfect place for it. Yeah. It feels like that. So now if I go into the book here, I could just uh, wait for my Wi-Fi first because it uh, always syncs between all my devices, uh, the reading progress. So uh, like so. Now I can go by clicking this. I can go um, forward in the book, I can swipe back in the book and I can use it in the left hand and do the same quite easy and go back. It feels quite good actually. I like it because then I can hold it like this and I have done a co-reader uh, so that you can click on the whole surface to go forward. So I don't need to click uh, on the right side to go forward and back on the left side. So I can click anywhere on the surface of the display. And when I go back, I just swipe back instead. So that is a very nice feature because then you can hold it in the left hand and don't need to r reach the right side of the device. You can just click. That's really nice. So Anytime I want to go back, I just swipe back instead. And when I go forward, I just 
click really nice so that's what I wanted to show you in this video so the Cobra Clara 2e is very crisp display and have a very good resolution and very very good front light and also the contrast is excellent on real black and white ear ink readers no color there no Kaleido 3 screen Kaleido 3 screen makes everything darker and dull so I don't think you should use color ear readers when reading normal black and white textbooks I know people use ear readers to read colored manga comics and so on then maybe you should buy a colored ear reader like the Kobo Clara color or the Kobo Libra color these two are really nice devices so I have no problems with that Kobo releases them because they are excellent actually so if you want to have color because you should read colored content then buy them but if you didn't planning to read colored content and only read black and white ebooks then don't buy it because then you get a get better display better sharpness better brightness okay so that's it bye